What's up everybody, Jesse Mails here, BackwaterFlyFishing.com. Today we're going to talk about five tips that are going to help you step up your fly time game. Alright guys, so tip number one is to tie with purpose. I know this sounds simple, but if you just like to sit down at the vise and tie randomly, you're not going to improve very much in the way of developing skills and techniques that are going to step up your fly tying game. So, when you sit down at the vise, tie with purpose. Alright guys, so tip number two is going to be to purchase materials with intent. Now I tie a lot of flies on a weekly basis and I don't like wasting money at all when it comes to materials I'm just not going to use. That goes for you as well. When you're placing orders online, when you're walking into a fly shop to buy materials, have an idea of what you want to tie before you go in there and that's going to help your creativity. It's also going to help your dollar go a little bit farther when it comes to buying materials like we all like to do. So tip number two is purchase materials with intent. All right, so tip number three is going to be to learn the classics and run with those patterns. If you follow my blog, you know I do a lot of saltwater flies, but this is going to work if you do freshwater stuff, trout stuff, it doesn't matter. Learn whatever the classics are in your expertise and run with those. My first flies were the Deceiver, Clouser Minnow, and the Quan Shrimp. These gave me a great basis of understanding hackle feathers, bucktail, crafter, shoot, EP fibers, and this allowed me to create a good base to then run with that and start exploring from there. Not randomly, but thinking about what I was doing when I was tying. So tip number three is gonna to be to learn the classics and run. Tip number four is gonna to be to learn how to blend natural materials and synthetic materials. Now this is gonna help you out a lot in salt water. I don't know how much it's gonna help you out in fresh water, but if you tie a lot of shrimp patterns, if you tie a lot of crab patterns, bait fish patterns, then this is really gonna help you out. If you notice in my two-tone Cameroon pattern, I use foxtail mixed with a host of other synthetic materials in order to build a really awesome shrimp fly that's going to do exactly what I want it to do in the water. Knowing the type of action that you want the fly to do is going to help determine where natural materials go and where synthetic materials go. So keep that in mind when you're sitting down at the tying bench. So tip number four is learning how to blend natural materials with synthetic materials. Finally, tip number five is all about action, action, action. Knowing the type of action that you want your fly to have in the water is gonna help efficiency at the fly tying desk. Whether you're tying with dumbbell eyes or bead chain eyes, whether you're using natural materials, synthetic materials, whether you want that fly to dart through the water or just glide right through easy, that all is gonna help you determine what you're gonna do when you sit down at the fly tying desk and make you a more efficient fly tire. It's also gonna help with creativity when it comes to blending materials and choosing new materials for a certain fly. If you want that fly to stick to the bottom or if you want it to sink slowly, all this stuff needs to come into mind before you sit down to tie that fly. So tip number five is action, action, action. Know the type of action you want the fly to have before you sit down and tie. All right guys, so there you go. Those are five tips to help you step up your fly tying game. Be sure to hit subscribe on this video, go to my Instagram, go to Facebook, like, follow me there in order to stay up to date with all the things coming off of this fly tying desk. If you like this video, go ahead, give it a like, leave a comment below so I know what's up. If there's anything you want me to cover, leave that in the comment section as well. Thanks for watching guys, I'll catch y'all later.